Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with a fun one here. Look at this. Jaspie's seven box all-star baseball mixer round team break number one. All teams are in. Memorabilia available in these two cases right here. A 2023 Jaspie's exclusive baseball big box edition featuring about four to five memorabilia items per box. In addition to a couple box of 2022 Bowman Draft First Edition and a few box of 2023 Topps Finest Baseball. And a wax party invite being given away at the end. So some really nice stuff. Remember the memorabilia goes to the team that they're, um, that's on the item. If there's no team logo or stamp on the item or maybe even a... We'll cross that bridge when we get there. But if there's like an all-star game stamp from 1992 or whatever and the player that signed it, it'll go to the team he was on in 1992 for example. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. Um, so if there's no team stamp or logo at all, it'll go to the team they're currently on if they're active or the team they play for the longest if they're retired. So if it's just a blank baseball, you know, with I don't know, Steve Carlton's autograph on it, it'll go to the Phillies. I think he played with the Phillies for the longest. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. Thanks to the people who bought their spot straight up. And oh, Gurriel Jr. with a home run. 2-2, two, two, NLAL. And congrats to the people who won spots in that blaster box break. All teams are in. Let's roll it. Let's randomize names and teams. Five and a one, six times each. One, two. <laughs> Sixth and final time. Mark, down to Chris. Five and a one, six times for the teams. One, two, three. Sixth and final time. Met Santa Rockies after six. All right, so here's how it shakes out. We got Mark with the Mets, Austin with the Tigers, Andrew with the Diamondbacks and Rays, Nicole with the Rangers, Brian with the Padres, Eugene with the Cubs, Andrew with the Red Sox and Cardinals, Dano with the A's, Rex with the Reds, David with the Twins and Marlins, Scott with the Nationals, Trevor with the Royals, Jared with, the, my, with my Dodgers, Andrew with the Angels, Brian with the Guardians, Phil with the Astros, Jeremy with the Pirates, Eugene with the Braves, Brian with the White Sox, Phil with the Phillies, Stephen K with the Brew Crew, Jeremy Port, with the Blue Jays, Andrew with the Giants, Eric with the Mariners, Brian with the Orioles, Joe with the Yankees, and Chris with the Colorado Rockies. Now remember, I don't know what's in that memorabilia stuff, so trade at your own risk. Let's alphabetize by team. And we're going to pause the video just for a little bit. Um, during the trade window, I'm going to go run and grab those boxes. During that time, feel free to trade. And, um, and I will be right back. Stick around. All right, welcome back, everybody. There was a deal done between Eugene and Rex. So Eugene's out of the Cubs spot and into the Reds spot. And Rex gets his Cubs. That's his team. Everything else remains the same. TWC means trade window closed. Let's print and rip. So we'll work through the uh, base heavier stuff first, like the uh, the two boxes of the Bowman Draft, then we'll do the three boxes of Finest, and then we'll get into the memorabilia right here. Now there's too many items for Who Am I, but maybe we'll try to play at least one round of Who Am I per big box. All right, good luck. Now, remember how they individually box all of these? I think, was that during... I don't know why they did that. I don't know if it was like a pandemic related thing. I don't, I don't think it was. Anyway. Wait, this is the right one, right? 2022 Bowman Draft First Edition. 2022 Bowman Draft First Edition. It's called. Good luck. 
try to trade Mojo is up to 93% of the time, 15% of the time? I don't think we ever kept track of uh, try to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. We only keep track of last spot Mojo, which is 70% of the time, last spot Mojo hits 100% of the time. All right, settle in. Good luck. It's a nice little mix of stuff here. I'm assuming, it doesn't say, but I'm assuming all cards ship here. At least for this break, all cards ship. Yes, there are unfortunately Duncan. There has to be some people in that 30%. But keep getting, keep putting, getting your at bats in, and eventually the hits will start to fall. We got another version of this mixer in the store right now. Do ask casebreaks.com. All memorabilia are considered hits, Rex. So yes, they do. They've got an autograph or a relic. So every single thing ships in this break. Jeremy33 started a Neymar PC. That's a worthy PC. He's pretty good. We have some soccer on the side too, ladies and gentlemen. Can you believe that Neymar, I just looked it up, Neymar is already 31 years old. And if Kylian Mbappe ends up leaving the team, then uh, and he'd be, he'd be the man on that team. And if he leads them to... Uh, to Champions League glory, which is really the big goal they want to, their big goal. Here's a, out of 150, Andrew Pintar for the Diamondbacks. That's going to be for Andrew, with Andrew. Right, and then the World Cup is going to be, here's a first edition Ellie Dela Cruz. Pretty good. Um, yeah, remember folks, the World Cup is in the United States in what, two years? 2025? 2026? So out of 150, there's Michael Kennedy, blue. It's for the uh, Pirates, that's gonna be for Jeremy 33. But yeah, it's a good time to get a head start on that. It's a sharp play, Jeremy. Real sharp play. There's Michael Hernandez to 75 for the O's. That's going to be for Brian. All right, it's a North America World Cup. Tamar Johnson, Pirates. Jeremy 33. And we've got out of 25, 14 out of 25, William Bergola, Phillies. Phil with the Phillies. Didn't, did they just call up Colton Kowser? Or they're going to have the all-star break? Holiday. 
First edition, Bowman first. If we took a holiday. That's going to go to Brian and the Orioles. It would be, it would be so nice. That is first first? No, that's just first edition. And there's Jason Morabel. 118 out of 150. It's a good sign, Jeremy. It's a good sign if I'm calling your name. Say my name, say my name. You got Luis Meza to 75. And some more for Jeremy 33. 44, not 33, 44 out of 50. Pirates, Shailen Polanco. Luis Meza goes to Toronto. That'll be for Jeremy Port. All right. Now let's get one more of these done and then we'll do three finest boxes, which will go pretty quickly. And then we'll get to the, the meat of the break, which would be the, uh, the memorabilia. Wait, what happened to the home run? Did that get reversed? The Yuli Gurriel home run that tied the NL with the AL? Must must have been, right? Bottom of the seventh, National 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 League is down one. Think they'll win one? No, no units on the All Star game. I I don't tend not to waste my money on exhibition games. Unless it's Frank Turning. <laughs> but uh, I think the play would have been like under the run total. But I'm not very good on overs and unders either, so I stay away from those. I did have half a unit on Adalas Garcia to win the home run derby last night, and he promptly crashed out in the first round. I think the last few All-Star games have been well under, you know, generally speaking, run totals are around six and a half to seven and a half runs. It's been under the last few years. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, the Lord's home run was a foul ball. Dang. Is O'Neill Cruz a rookie in this year's finest? No. I think he was, his official rookie year was 2022. This is 2023. Rex is asking how I feel about the traditional ice cream sandwich. I'm not a crooks. Jimmy Crooks to 25. Uh, that will go, or to 50, that is, that'll go to the Cardinals, Andrew with the Cardinals. I 
I like the... Uh, yeah, why do they even challenge in the All-Star Games? Stop wasting our time. I guess it's an All-Star Game for the, uh, for the umps as well. Is it the best of the All-Star umps and the All-Star uh, replay department? I do like the traditional ice cream sandwich, but I feel like just your standard store-bought ones are usually not very good. Some, some, some brands, the, uh, not that I've done too much research, but I feel like some brands, they use too few... Uh, the vanilla middle there's not enough of it and there's too much quote unquote breading <laughs> right the chocolate oh wow Brian Acuna 5 out of 5 for the twins uh, David with the twins that's Ronald's brother All both of his brothers are supposed to be really good hang on to this one see what he does I mean if, if he's even if, he, if he's even half as good as his brother, that'd be awesome. <laughs> He'd be a great player. That's how good Ronald is. David, training whistle number out of fives and under. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! Did not expect this out of this break. You'll also get Connor Prelip as well at 75. There you go, there you go. David Duffy with the Twins. Holiday. Another holiday for Brian and the Orioles. There's his other brother, uh, Luis Angel Acuna. Lamar King Jr. to 150 for the Friars. That's going to be for Brian S. There's Alex McFarlane to 150 for the Phillies. There's Roger Garius to 75. For the Yankees, there's Alex McFarlane, blue for the Phillies, 150 to fill with the Phillies. Could be like a Justin Melvin Upton situation. And then there's Luis Angel who could also be quite good as well. <coughs> Alright, almost done with this and then we'll get into the finest and pulling some nice stuff out of there. And then we'll get to the memorabilia. Joshua Baez to 150. Cardinals, that'll be for Andrew. All right, now let's get into some finest. Three boxes. Yeah, going back to the ice cream, the traditional ice cream sandwich, yeah. I, you, you have to find the right one. I, if someone made like a, uh, if there was a boutique ice cream company that made <laughs> proper ice cream sandwiches, I feel like that would be, that would be great. But some brands, not enough ice cream and, and, and too much, uh, or too much ice cream. Sometimes the, the, the chocolate breading, like a bread, I guess, doesn't sound, uh, doesn't, it's too much of it or too little of it, or not chocolatey en enough. Sometimes the vanilla ice cream in the middle is messed up. That doesn't taste taste too good. You know, and, and they're, yeah, they're usually just too messy. So they have to be the right size, Chilo. They have to be, they can't be too large. If they're too large, by the time you're three quarters of the way through, the rest of it's, especially on a hot day, you know, just just dripping all over all over your hands oh, your t your t-shirt your 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 lap if you're driving and eating <laughs> which I drive and eat you gotta watch out
is what a thread. Jeremy. And how do we feel about the All Star Game in daylight? I don't. I don't mind it. I think by the time it's over, it'll be dark. I guess that's usually what happens when you get a. If you do a prime time. You know, if you do a prime time uh, national game. I think all the all the West Coast Sunday night baseball games are always at five o'clock, right? They're always kind of like half shadow, half daylight. All right, got Garrett Mitchell to 175, Aqua Shimmer for the Brewers. That'll be for Stephen K. Miguel Vargas, who was sent down. That's to 100. Hopefully he figures that swing back. That's going to go to the Dodgers, Jared. He should be able to. Garrett Mitchell, maybe just a reset. That's for Stephen K. There's Michael Tolia to 300. Nice. Jordan Walker, Refractor. That's for Andrew and the Cardinals. Gilo thinks ice cream just isn't meant to be eaten that way in sandwich form. That might be true. And there's your auto, Estuary Ruiz. Uh, that's going to go to Dano and the Azo. He might steal 100 bases this year. There's Masataka Yoshida to 99. I think he was, at some point, at least when we checked a, couple, a few weeks ago maybe, he was odds-on favorite for the AL Rookie of the Year. Adley Rushman's been playing some good ball. There's Tatis Jr. to 250. Josh Young playing some good ball. He might get some Rookie of the Year votes on the AL side. Josh Young going to Texas. That'll be for Nicole. Uh, Fernando Tatis Jr. will go to the Padres. Brian and Adley Rushman will go to the Orioles. That'll be for Brian K. Brian with a Y. And there's Buddy Kennedy, 20 out of 99. And that will be for the Diamondbacks. That's going to go to Andrew in Arizona. Rex bought some, uh, he's saying he got some mini ice cream sandwiches from Kroger. And they're not too bad. They're about the size of a smaller Hershey bar. That is a good size for an ice cream bar. <laughs> or for an ice cream sandwich, that is. But then the other stuff has to be right. What is a, uh, what's a chip witch? I don't think I've ever had a chip witch. Oh, is that a chocolate chip cookie with ice cream in the middle? Oh yeah, that's exactly what it is. A chip witch brand chip witch. I don't think I've ever had a chip witch brand chip witch. I have had a chocolate chip ice cream sandwich. Oh, they have mint chocolate. Chip version. I do like mint. <clears throat> I could call those being I recall those being messy too. I I think I might lean I think I might lean what Gilo is saying. The ice cream being eaten in sandwich form, it's just too messy. Just put it in a cup or a cone. You know, put, get that ice cream in there. Or have a, have a scoop of vanilla ice cream and then eat a chocolate chip cookie. Trev is thinking the best novelty ice cream snack is a drumstick. Is that gone? That is gone. There's no doubt about that. Let's go. National League. Three hundred sixty feet. The drumstick could get a little messy too. Here's 
There's Josh Young. Josh's brother, eight out of nine. No, Jace's brother, Jace Young, is in the Tigers. They do make mini drumsticks, though. I think that, I think, is spot on. There's O'Neal Crew, not a rookie here, but refractor for Jeremy. Here's Corbin Carroll. This one is a rookie. Andrew with the Diamondbacks. Stephen K advocating for the Mississippi Mud ice cream sandwich. Here's Jordan Alvarez. Green speckle to 125 for the Strohs. That's for Phil. And there's Michael Grove. For my Dodgers, that's going to go to Jared. Has struggled a bit in the majors, but has been able to play a couple different roles, soak up some innings here and there. Is is a home run derby a tiebreaker for this All-Star game, Chilo? There's Hunter Brown, Lava to 100. Astros, that'll be for Phil. Oh, they just mentioned the tie-breaking list. Michael Toglia, Chris Parent with the Rockies. Is it Applebee's that takes a fresh baked cookie around the oven and puts ice cream on top? No, Applebee's would not be that creative. I think you're thinking of uh, BJ's Pizza, who is famous for their pizookies which is a deep dish chocolate chip cookie made in the oven, popped right out, and then bam, a, a big scoop of vanilla ice cream. Is Applebee's still a meme for food? I was not aware that they were a meme in the first place. I used to get a lot of flack for bad food, but I really don't eat and nor do I. It is bad. All right, Rex was thinking BJ's, Jason. Applebee's, come on. There's a Volpe Refractor, nice, for the Yankees, Joe. And Logan Webb for the Giants, that's for Andrew. SC75. There's Oswaldo Cabrera to 250, and Jonathan Aranda for the Rays. It's going to go to Andrew. C.J. Abrams to 50 in an out of five autograph? Yep. Michael Stefanik, two out of five rookie autograph for Andrew and the Angels. In the arms of the angel. 
Nice. Another train whistle. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop whoop. There you go. Nice. CJ Abrams for the Nationals will go to Scott. Part of that Soto trade. One of the one of the big prospects for the Padres formerly and now with the Nationals. All right. Yeah, it's a great product, Duncan. And don't be jealous. Don't be jealous. Join. We've got another one of these seven box breaks in the store right now and full case of finest baseball in the store right now as well. All right, memorabilia time. Jaspie's exclusive big box edition. I need more room here. So I'm going to put this just off to the side right here. And you can see it on the cart behind me. It's not going anywhere. Now we're going to pop open case 10 of 10. I just randomly grabbed these boxes from the back. You can see the labeling and all that there. It is a cool. Remember, remember the old, uh, the old Brit pop band Stereophonics, Jeremy Thirty Three. We got a, a hit or two in the United States. pouches here too. Alright. This feels like a helm a baseball helmet. Here is a mini helmet maybe? A book? That feels like a book. This is a baseball. This must be a jersey. And this is something heavy. What is this? something interesting there. Right, empty box. <coughs> How? Of what? Well, I'd be pretty surprised. I'd be stunned if, if there were any Steelers in here. Okay, so this says this is a stanchion, like a post, but I don't know, from like a, a gate? Something like that? I don't know. Well, we'll see. All right. Let's pop this one open first. It is number 30, number 23. Anyone can, can anyone guess the auto just from here? So this has the, uh, the Beckett sticker on there. And I think this is a custom jersey. Harris, last name, any guesses? Harris 23 baseball. Thank you. 
Not a Tome. This is Michael Harris. Yeah, Gilo's got it. Gilo and Trev. Michael Harris of the Braves. That's going to go to Eugene with Atlanta. There you go, Eugene with the Braves. In the, I don't have to put them back in the pouch. I'll just make sure a pouch goes with each hit. Just pop that in there. Pop that down there. All right. Next one. I think this was a book. A 1993 Fall Classic program? It's an official souvenir scorebook. That's Joe Carter. Did they get Mitch Williams to sign it too? They did. Joe Carter, Mitch Williams. Got an AJ Sports World, some sort of authenticity thing there. Wow. So, I mean, that's, that's a randomizer between those two teams. That's Phillies. Phil has a shot at it. And Jeremy Port with the Blue Jays have, has a shot at it. All right, next up, we've got a cute little mini helmet here. Cute little Brewers mini helmet. Do we have the name on here? Yes. Any guesses? I think the, the light is right against there. It'll be Stephen K with the Brewers. Not yeah, we know what Robin Young's autograph looks like. Very elegant. Yeah, Chad's right. This is Jackson Curio. Trev's got it too. Big prospect for the uh, for the Brew Crew, along with his brother Jason Curio. I think Jackson Curio is the more highly touted prospect, though. Sorry, it's upside down, but there it is. That's, that's the angle I can get there. Oh, was the sticker visible? Sorry, I didn't mean for the sticker to be visible. All right, let's go with the uh, larger helmet. Oh, this is easy. Yep, David Winfield. Very distinctive auto. I like the Twins logo right here. I don't think this is a, an official. It's a Rawlings helmet. But I don't think it's like. I don't think it's game used or anything like that. But you got the Rawlings logo inside. You got hologram stickers for all the authenticity stuff right there. Any other 
stickers or anything like that we need to look at? I guess I can show you the autograph a little more cleanly here. Nice. Yeah, Twins have been having a nice break. There you go, David. Congrats to you. All right, let me take the time to do this. This is going to be better for the shipping team in the end. We don't want any of this stuff to get mixed up. All right, and the final one should be an autographed baseball, I believe. Well, this will be an easy one. Should I give you some clues? All right, I am a, re am I still alive? I'm still alive, 84 years old, a lefty, um, a lefty pitcher for the Senator slash, slash uh, Twins, White Sox, Phillies, Yankees, Cardinals as well. All-star for three seasons, gold glove winner for 16 seasons. Has a lifetime 283 to 237 win loss record, 345 earn run average, 2461 strikeouts, a World Series champion in the early 80s, and a Golden Days Era Committee Hall of Famer in 2022, recently, with 75% of the vote. And I think he was in, he did some broadcasting, right? He, he did some TV stuff as well. And he played for, yeah, he played for that team the longest. That's right, Jim Cott. Cott? Cat? Cott, I think. Jim Cott. He's got a very clean autograph, too. Nice, there's all your hologram sticker and everything as well. And guess who he played for the longest? The Twins, another twin for David. There's Jim Cott on the, on the little sticker inside as well. No, I mean, if I showed you the auto, it would be easy to read. Everyone would be like, oh, that's Jim Cott. The clues definitely made it hard, though. That's why I went with the clues angle. The second one shouldn't be sold. I just posted that when I started this break about 40 minutes ago. There should be plenty of full spots and, um, and, and filler spots to win your way in. Also, these breaks are taking much longer than I thought, so I apologize about the timing on the schedule. It's already sold out. I only have like five orders. It's impossible. Huh, it is. All right, well, actually, I'm going to post the last filler here. Or should I put full spots there? I'll put full spots in. I think that, that might be easier. Oh, Carl Chris is in the house, so that, that might explain it. Well, get your spots before he does. So I'm gonna cancel a filler. I just added eight full spots back in. So we only have to do that one that's already full. So we only have to sell out the full spots. This was the interesting one. What is this?
I'll tell you who it is first. It's Jim Palmer, but it's a Baltimore Orioles something. What is that? Without stanchion? Is it like... I don't know what it is. A seat? A seat back? Or a sign? Where's my knife? What do you think that is? Sorry, I can't get a good angle on this, but there it is. What is that? A LBMPR? Something maybe, a, I don't know. It's, is this a bat in this rectangular box? In a, a splintered bat? I don't think it's a bat. A bat wouldn't fit in this box. A piece of the lumber? P back of a seat, says Stephen K. Let's open this very carefully here. Cut too deeply in there. Oh. Look at that. Is that the uh, a pitching rubber, I want to say? Right? Yeah. R. Trevi and Trev got it. That's awesome. So you got Jim Palmer's gold ink autograph, Hall of Fame inscription, Orioles logo on there, right? And you can see the screws where they're, where they put in the rubber, I guess, to the to the base. That's awesome. Yeah, this couldn't have been a bat. Nice Orioles. There you go. That's pretty unique. That's going to go to Brian Clinch. All right. But wait, ladies and gentlemen, there's more. There's another one. Got another big helmet. We got a mini helmet. Got an autographed baseball. We got another book. Feels like a book. And a jersey. Nothing else inside. This does feel like Christmas. All right, let's get the, let's just, let's just grab what's in front of me right here. Autograph baseball. Oh, this is pretty cool.
Uh, pitched, I pitched between 1953 and 1967, and I pitched a perfect game in a, in a World Series. Ooh, not Whitey Ford. Different, different Yankee. Drysdale was a Dodger. Jim Bunning didn't never did it. It's Don Larson. Jeff and Eugene got it. The only player. It's his so only solo no hitter and perfect game in World Series history. We got the inscription there as well. Nice. And that is that is for uh, Joe and the Yankees. And you also have looks like a Steiner auth authentication card in there as well, which, which will which will also ship. Like felt like more literature. It is. It is, and a Major League Baseball official All Star Game program back when it was uh, in Cleveland in 1997. Who was that? Oh, there's like a little sticker inside the bag. Anyone guess that autograph? Not Dawson, not Albert Bell, not Willie Mays Hayes. This is an autograph you don't see too often. It's cool you get the program as well. It's awesome. He was part of the home team, the Cleveland Indians at the time. No, no, no I don't. You're going to remember his name, though. Sandy Alomar Jr., that's going to go to the tribe. That's for Brian Kay. What was then the Indians, today, now the Guardians. Rex, did you bust out a, a Craig Nettles reference? All right, so there you go, Brian K. The other one is clearly Marlins, but can anyone guess the autograph? No, no guesses. Marlins number two. There you go. Dano, it's got it. Jazz Chisholm. And 
You know, Kevin's got it too. And that will be for David Duffy and the Marlins. It could have been a Jeter, Jeter owner jersey. I think Jeter made himself a jersey. Front office doesn't wear jerseys, right? Only on field. Oh no. Oh wow, I thought that was gonna be out. Wander Franco almost sent us to a, uh, a a home run off. <laughs> All right. Mini helmet. It's a Met, but any guesses here? It's a prospect. Yeah, you got William right, Dano. You got the first name here. He's a righty, shortstop center fielder, 19 years old, Dallas, Texas. Not Johnson Walker. Attended uh, Rockwell Heath High School in Heath, Texas. Uh, was, had committed to A&M, but went to Mississippi State University. Drafted in the first round with the 14th overall pick of the 2022 Major League Baseball draft. Signing bonus, $3.9 million. It's pretty nice. Yep, Kevin and Scott's got it. Jet. Woo, woo, woo. It's a Jet Williams autograph. Nice. And this adorable little mini helmet. And that's going to be Mark Russo with the Mets. All right, and the final item, then we'll do the randomizer, and then we'll give away the Wax Party invite. This is a baseball break, Chad. And just for that, just for Chad trying to be funny, we're going to put this in his face right here. It's appropriate considering the All-Star game. We got Mariner Legend. Everyone's going to be able to guess this one. You got the one ear flap helmet going on here. I don't think this is a game used one. It says on field equipment or anything like that. This break would be a lot more expensive if it was game used. Yep, Edgar Martinez. We just saw him throw out the first pitch earlier today with former teammate Ken Griffey Jr. This goes to Eric Clicks. Mets. Mariners. Mariners. I was thinking Mets in my head for the Jet Williams. Where am I going to put? Oh, I guess I could put this back into the bag. Put this right on the plastic here. Congrats to Eric. And now it's time to make one person happy, one person sad in that Phillies Blue Jays randomizer. And then I'm going to make one person really happy and 29 people sad when we do the Wax Party Invite randomizer. Kimbrel, what are you doing? Jeez. All right. Joe Carter, Mitch Williams. This is a little triggering for Phillies fans. I apologize. There was no warning. And with Julio up? No, MLB did not write a script. 
the manager just decided that someone decided that Craig Kimbrell was an all star and put him out there. Everyone's seen what happens. Craig Kimbrell with the Dodgers, Craig Kimbrell with his current team, Craig Kimbrell with the White Sox. He must be an alternate Gilo. How's he even on this team? All right, let's flip back over here. I'm triggered by Craig Kimbrell. Let's gather everybody's names for the wax party invite. And let's put Toronto Blue Jays, Philadelphia Phillies there for the uh, for the dual autograph. Let's roll it, randomize both lists, three and a four, seven times. Let's see what Kimbrell does here, though. One and one, two outs. He just put a man on. Julio Rodriguez up to bat. Wow, the center, center, middle, middle, 94 mile per hour fastball. What are you doing, Craig Kimbrell? You can't feed Julio Rodriguez a center cut four seamer. Jeez. Oh, he pulls one outside. What are you doing, Craig Kimbrell? Seven. I don't know how he's an all-star, Jason. He must, he, must have been, he must be playing pretty good, then. Or someone was, like, hurt, and there was, like, I guess you're, well, you're a manager choice. Or there's a lot of Craig Kimbrell fans that voted him in. I don't think there were Craig Kimbrell's fans voting him in. Oh, puts one in the dirt. Three and two the count. Now you got to throw the fastball. This is like storybook right here. It's just... He's on Philly? I guess so. Uh -huh. Here's the pitch. And fouls it off. Three and a four, seven times for the dual auto. Good luck. One, two, three, four... Five, six, and seventh and final time goes to Philadelphia on the side of Craig Kimbrell. That's going to go to Phil and the Phillies. There you go, Phil. Very cool dual autograph. Joe Montana, Mitch Williams. And he walked him. Unbelievable. All right, now the wax party invite. Three and a four, seven times. Name on top gets the invite. One. Two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. Four and a three, seven times. Name on top. Ooh, Austin, sad times, but I appreciate giving a shot. But only, only one winner for the Wax Party invite, and that's going to be Brian Klinge. Congrats to you, Brian with a Y. You are in the wax party. You got the invite. You're guaranteed something. Check out the details on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Sorry, Jeremy. We'll get him next time, man. Mitch Williams was once a Cub. A loser on the Cubs and a loser for the Phillies in that World Series, giving away that, that walk-off. I'm Joe for Jaspies, and Craig Kimbrell was a Cub too, Rex, and he's about to blow it for the National League. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. If you're watching this video... You can just go Google what happened to the 2023 All-Star Game. I'll see you next time for the next one. Come on, NL. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.